mind, you will not need a special PC in order to run SideQuest. You can just do it with any PC available to you. Also, you won't need any kind of special cable. You can use any USB cable that has a USB-C on the other end. So in order to sideload, you are going to need to turn on developer mode. So you're gonna connect to your Oculus Quest in the Oculus app, open up that arrow, more settings, and you'll see a setting that's called developer mode. Make sure that's turned on. Here we are on Oculus Developer's website. Make sure that you're logged in. Then it's gonna ask you to select a target device. So I'm gonna pick Oculus Quest. Right here now, you can click on the Oculus dashboard and you're going to create a new organization. So it really doesn't matter what you put in here. I'm just gonna put Let's Chat 6 and you can click I understand. You'll never have to do anything with this ever again. So click submit. Agree to the terms, and there you are. Developer mode is now turned on. So here I am on the SideQuest website, sidequestvr.com. I'm gonna go to the download page. Of course, you're gonna pick the one that applies to your operating system, but I'm choosing Windows. That's gonna download automatically. Next, you're gonna choose your install location, click install, and we're gonna let it run SideQuest and click finish. So here we are in SideQuest. The first thing you're gonna wanna do, of course, is plug in your Quest. So I'm gonna do that a while. So now that it's plugged in, you'll notice that it changed to saying that it's connected to the Oculus Quest up here. It even shows your battery level as well. So a couple buttons up here that are important. This one just helps you navigate to different parts of SideQuest. This allows you to stream from your Quest to your PC. So you'll need to set up the Wi-Fi connection first which is of course the next button here. So now that I'm plugged in, I can click connect and now it's connected by Wi-Fi. So this will allow you to now stream from your headset to your PC so that anyone around you can watch you play. Now that I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, I wanna make sure my Quest is unplugged before attempting to stream. Make sure the Quest is on your head so you don't have to really change any of these options. You can go ahead and start the stream and here it is. This is my home screen. You can see everything inside the Quest. Up next, you'll see there's an APK file installer. So that'll come in handy when you're doing things like installing BMBF, for example. This will allow you to manage files on your headset, and this will allow you to manage the currently installed apps on your headset, including ones from the Oculus Store. Up next, this is your tasks list that will allow you to see currently running tasks, whether you're downloading an APK or you're uninstalling an app manually, whatever you happen to be doing. This is device settings and tools. This allows you to run ADB commands. So for example, you'll need that in order to change the recording resolution in your quest and the rest are pretty much obvious. So we'll move on. Go ahead and go to your games and apps. Then you're going to pick a game that you would like to try out. So let's try Pavlov Shack in this example. All you're gonna do to get it installed is install latest. Again, that goes up to my task screen. You can see it's downloading. And now you'll see the APK file installed okay. So assuming everything went okay, we're gonna go inside the headset and see if the app is there. Now it's time to check that the app was installed successfully. Go to your library, unknown sources. Scroll down till you find what you're looking for. And there it is, Pavlov VR. If this tutorial was helpful at all to you, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Thanks, bye.